everyone, and welcome back to another entry in my junk journal. It's been a while since I um, actually videotaped anything in my junk journal, but as you can see, I have been writing in it, and it's getting thicker and yummier, and I've got things all stapled inside and things to add to it. And um, I also ordered those rubber stamps from Cat's Eye Press, I think it's called, that Yoli Bean was talking about for quarter of the day and I got the garden journal and they were really inexpensive if you just ordered the rubber without the backing on it and so I find that it's really handy if I just stick them in a little pouch with a couple of journaling pens and one ink spot and then this has a little snap on it so I just um, all I do is just hook the pouch around the ribbon binding there so no matter where I'm journaling, it's attached to my book. So today, I've been wanting to do this particular journal entry for quite a while. I've been thinking about it, but I just didn't have the time until now. So I just got back from a wonderful vacation with three of our five grandsons. We went to Drumheller, and oh, did we ever have a great, great, great time. It was so much fun, so I'll be putting up a video about that soon. So I'm going to go back here, I've journaled here, but I'm going to go back and use this page over here to do my art journaling. And the first thing I'm going to do before I even put in the book, I want to create my, it's a bit of a collage, so I'm going to use a piece of blank paper first, some regular uh, gel medium, and a paintbrush. And I have a bin of scrap paper here that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to grab out random pieces of paper and I'll explain it to you. I'll explain to you why I'm going to do that. So I just want to ask you a scenario of have you ever been in a situation where, say, you're planning a wedding or a party or some special event and you've invited your friends? And then there's invariably one person who doesn't show up and doesn't say why, or one person that comes and you know you only invited them because you felt you had to, and then when all is said and done, they created so much tension and negativity. And what I'm specifically talking about, I was at a wedding just a little while ago, and uh, one of the guests, they knew they didn't really want to invite her because of the tension she would create. But they did anyway, just out of the proper protocol that you should invite this particular person. But at the end of the day, the discussion sort of centered around her. And so I was talking over about it with my friend, and I started thinking about a phrase that my grandmother has always said to me. Actually, we called her Nana, and that's why I wanted to be called Nana. And she's always said to me, you know what? Love the ones you're with. We have a really, really big family, and so sometimes you have family functions, and you invite everybody, and sometimes people don't come for whatever reason, and you start to take it personally. But if you take the personal out of it and realize, you know what, it's their issue and their problem. If they don't want to be present, or if they do come and they choose to be negative, it's no reflection on you. Just love the ones you're with. Love the ones that have taken the time out of their day to come and spend time with you. Don't focus on the negative person. Focus on the people that want to be there or are happy to be there and have planned on being at your wedding or your party or your dinner or whatever it might be. Focus on those people. Um, sometimes we get ourselves so worked up that we're completely shattered, completely torn apart, which is what these pieces of paper are representing for me when you feel kind of just shattered and torn apart. And if ever that happens, which it doesn't happen that often to me anymore, because I do think of what my grandma says, or my nana used to say to me. And if, um, if I plan something, and say, for example, only two out of the five people 
decide that they're able to come, then I focus on those two out of the five people and put all of my energies into them. And you end up having a much more pleasant time than stressing about those that choose not to be there. You don't know what's going on in their life. Maybe they're too gross. Who knows? You can't even begin to speculate what's going on in other people's life. But just know it's not about you. It has nothing to do with you. And um, it's their issue and their problem. Now what I'm using, I'm using gel medium. I don't know if you've used it before, but it's kind of like white glue, but not really. And you can glue things down, and then when you're all done, you can just brush over top, see like this. And it gives it kind of a little bit of a shiny finish. And it's a great way, especially if you're collaging down things like um, thin newspaper. You can use fabric. It's a really cool substance. I bought mine at, um, I always go with my husband to um, Delta Art Supply. Uh, you can buy this at Michael's, but sometimes when you go right directly to an art store, sometimes it's a little bit cheaper than in the craft store when you're selling art supplies. I also found that with my ATG uh, refills for the tape, the art supply store is so much more inexpensive than going to Michael's. I just can't believe it. So, um, yes, yeah, sometimes check out art stores for your regular scrapbooking items that you think are only available at Michael's or Joanne's. So I'm just going to keep... Sticking this down. There's no rhyme, no reason. I didn't think this out before I started videotaping, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but sometimes that's the best. So I'm just continuing on until I get this to the size that I want it to be. What I want to do once I get it big enough, I want to then cut out this paper, these collage pieces, treat them as one piece of paper, and then cut out the shape of a heart. Um, when you're doing collage, you could, but for this particular thing for me, I wanted it to look like my heart was shattered and broken, so I thought cutting the edges gave it more of a sharper look to it than, um, torn piece. So I've dried my piece. It's still a little tacky, but I'm so impatient. So what I'm going to do is fold it in half like you used to in school and make a heart. So it's just kind of a free formed heart. I'm not going to close mine tightly because I don't want it to glue to each other. And just start here and cut the shape of half a heart. This way for sure your heart, no matter how goofy shaped it is, it's symmetrical. There, we got our heart shaped. So, what I decided to do, instead of using the page I had said I was going to use, it had too much background uh, print in the back, so I didn't want to paint over top of it. I'll use it for a different time. I went and found another one of those pieces of paper that my grandsons had painted that I put in my art journal. Perfect for this kind of thing. Because this heart just really pops on the page. Isn't that neat? And I think I'm just going to use gel medium again just to uh, glue it down with. Because it's right here on my desk. So I'll just slather some on the back. And I'll use my brayer to uh, make sure it's really down good. So now I'm ready to put my quote down. And so I just put some random uh, pieces of, in keeping with the collage theme, I wanted to keep it kind of a, a eclectic and very random. So I just grabbed some chipboard paper, pa sorry, some chipboard letters, some magazine words, and a button, and so on and so forth. But I was going through an old O magazine when I was looking for some words. And I found this beautiful quote that says, Hear a voice within you saying you are not a painter, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. 
by Vincent Van Gogh, and I thought, what a wonderful quote to put in your art journal. So I think I'm just going to glue it inside the front cover, right up here, just as a reminder that we are all artists, and everything we create is beautiful, and uh, I just thought, what a great little find I found today. So uh, remember, you can look through old magazines, use what you have, be creative, use your children's artwork scraps of paper, magazine clips, whatever you want, and create, create, create. So I've got these chipboard letters, so I'm spelling out the word love, just using my glue gun here. I placed my heart over to the side here so I could put most of my words here. So I've got L-O. I got pick these letters up at the dollar store maybe about five years ago <laughs> and I've never used them well I've used them but I haven't used them all up I guess so love the ones you're with and it's funny when I was going through the magazine when I found the word the it was sort of behind a display of pink roses so I'm like, I tried to do this random, but it ends up being color coordinated, which is kind of funny. So I'll just put love the, and then I've got one here, the word one, and I'm going to glue that down, but for the O, I'm going to glue on top of it a button. And I'm not concerned at all that the cutting is straight or not because it really goes with the way I did the jagged shapes in the heart. So I added a button there and for the S I'm going to use some sticker letters that I have right here. These Making Memories just scrapbook basic. I'm just going to grab an S from in there for the ones. black really pops on this colored paper. Love the ones you are. It's really tiny, the R. A-R-E-R. -R -R. And then just with a sort of a journaling pen, I'm just going to write the word with. Love the ones you are. This is a calligraphy pen and the tip is 2.0. So I can get a nice love the ones you are with going to take the same pen and do some sort of like doodles all around this heart. Kind of little scallopy edges all the way around my little heart here. There. Love the ones you're with. I think I'll trace around the love letters just kind of give them a little bit of outline. how a black pen can just make things just pop. I'm going to do the same thing around these words. And you probably noticed right there I tore a little bit of the paper off when I was taking that glue thing off. But I had intended on uh, putting this little sticker and I wasn't sure where I was going to put it. So it has a little... Um, it says Carpe Diem, so for Seize the Day, Live in the Moment, and there's a clock. The spot was picked for me perfectly right there, and I'll go around it to tie it into everything, too. And there you have my art journal. Entry. I added some stitch lines all the way around the page with, in keeping with my little quilted heart here 
and the deed at the bottom. So I hope you guys remember that, to love the ones you're with, appreciate the people that really want to be with you, that take the time to be with you, and never mind about everybody else. It's their story, their problem. It has nothing to do with you. You're a beautiful person. They like you, they don't like you, it doesn't matter. It's more important that you love yourself. So we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Bye.